Sarah Oates here with Divi Space and in today's video we're going to be looking at a new plugin called Divi Icon Party. Now this is a really cool plugin because out of the box Divi only allows you these icons, Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus, and RSS feeds. Now this just isn't enough. I mean, without even Instagram, we're kind of stuffed, right? So until now, what you have to do is you have to use some code, you have to muck around with the functions file, but you don't have to do that anymore because now with Divi Icon Party, you can put them in so easy and I'm gonna show you how you can do it. So with Divi Icon Party, not only can you add more icons here, but you can put icons within the main menu bar, which a lot of people want to be able to do. And also down in the footer, you'll be able to add different icons as well. So let's go take a look at just how easy it is to use Divi Icon Party. All right, so what we're going to do here is come into our plugins and we're going to activate this plugin. All right, Divi Icon Party, activate. All right, once it has been activated, you're going to need to go to your license key information and put in your license code here, which you would have from purchasing the plugin. And then what we're going to do is we are going to go and take a look at the settings. So Divi theme options. All right, now, as soon as you have put in your activation code, you are going to have all these brand new options. And here they are. Look at them all. All right, I'm going to get rid of these two because we don't need them. But let's add in, say, YouTube. Let's add in, let me see. I'll, I certainly want to add in Instagram because, hello, who doesn't have Instagram? Now, there's all these other options, of course. So let's just add a few of them. Of course, you're not going to want all of them. But look at all of the options that you've got. All right, so let's just save that now and see what has changed just by doing that. Of course, you've got to actually put the links in. I'll show you where to do that in just a second. But look at this. Automatically, all these brand new icons. Like, how cool is that? Down in our footer, bam, they're all there. And you don't have to do anything. All we need to do now is come back over here add in your links. So you'll have all these new sections here for all the new ones and all you need to do is add in your correct link. But now let's see just a couple more settings. All right, now the next setting that we wanna look at is open social links in a new tab. Now I think this is essential. I think you should definitely turn this on because anytime you want people to be clicking on that, you want them to keep your website open. So I would definitely be enabling that one show social icons name on hover so we'll do it just so that we can have a look at it and then show social icon in the main header so this is where we can add it to our main header maybe you don't want to have your um, bar at the top and so you can have it there and now let's click save let's refresh this page All right, now let's see what happens. We hover, we get the names. So you might find that really useful. You might want to have it turned on. I probably wouldn't, but you know, you can. If now we click on this, it's going to open up in a new tab, which is fabulous. And now look at this, they're in our menu here. So then what you could do is you could completely get rid of this top bar here if you didn't want to. You could use Page Builder everywhere and actually have a whole different section here up above and still have these in your... Uh, menu navigation area and then we've still got it here in our footer as well and again they're going to open up in a brand new tab so this is Divi Icon Party super useful super easy really lightweight and it's going to allow you to be able to easily add any icons that you need to be able to add for your social media I hope this video has been useful thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one